Hi, I'm Doug and this is Atomic Age Pictures and tonight we're watching The Fighting Marines from 1935. Now I don't have a whole lot of information about this film itself, there's, there's not a whole lot out there, but what I do have some information on is about the company that made this. The Fighting Marines was made by a little company called Mascot Pictures and Mascot started in 1927 and they kind of specialized in B-Westerns and serials. And in fact, their 1929 serial King of the Congo was the first serial to feature synchronized sound. So they were kind of uh, ahead of the curve in terms of technology. Mascot started out as a very small company. In fact, they rented space in which to keep their offices. And whenever they made a film, they rented studio space. But eventually they grew large enough to take over the Senate Studios, made famous by Max Senate and his Keystone Cops. Mascot became very popular providing B material to other studios A pictures, providing westerns and serials and, and other material like that to fill out a complete bill for an evening's performance. Mascot practically invented the singing cowboy genre and in fact later in 1935 introduced Gene Autry in their serial The Phantom Empire. However, in 1935, under pressure from their film laboratory, Consolidated Film Industries, Mascot merged with Monogram Pictures, Liberty Pictures, Chesterfield Pictures, Invincible Pictures to form Republic Pictures, the famous serial uh, studio that we know today. Notable in this serial is stuntman Jakob Knut. Now, Knut famously went on to do the under the stagecoach stunt in John Ford's Stagecoach, and then later went on to be the second unit director for the chariot sequence for Ben-Hur in 1959. He was a legend in the stunt community. So anyway, here from 1935 is the Fighting Marines. <laughs> We must be near their stronghold. Maybe that's where they're holding Schiller a prisoner. Your friends? Ha! They are walking right into our trap. For the last time, are you going to tell us the secret of your gyro compass or not? You're wasting your time, Captain. Go back and tell your mysterious leader, whoever he is, that this invention belongs to the Marines. Go back and tell the Capitan, there are only a few Americans. We can take care of them. Full of soldiers. Ah, oh, that will make it more simple. We will have no difficulty in capturing them. <laughs> They're fighting the Marines, mister. And before it's over, your bandits will know they've been in a battle. We can hold them off from here as long as the ammunition lasts. We have to make every shot count.
through the back. Keep low, soldier. They're popping us from behind. Pat, did you ever see swamp grass growing in the ripples? No. You got him. I got an idea. So have I. We should have joined the Navy. Give me a couple of those hand grenades. What are you going to do? I'm going to find their ammunition supply and toss in a pineapple. You'll never make it. We're off number 100 to 1. I'm taking that chance. We've got to save Schiller. Okay. We'll keep him busy, and when we hear the explosion, we'll start moving in. Happy landing. Don't take any wooden nickels, soldier. Take it easy, old man. I'll have you out of here in a jiffy. USA again. Yeah, and the first thing I'm going to do is get me a great big T-bone steak smothered in mushrooms and fried onions with huckleberry pie and ice cream. There you go, Mac. Always thinking of your stomach. Good news, fellas. They just got a radio message from headquarters saying they're going to give my gyro compass a final test when we get back to the base. Great! I hope it works.
Don't forget to wash your neck, soldier. Never mind the wisecracks. I got a date with the swellest gal in town. <laughs> What's the matter with her? Is she blind or something? No, just smart. She knows class when she sees it. And she's driving out in her own car to pick me up. That's what gals think of me. Must be the hair tonic that gets them. Hair tonic, my eye. That's my personality, my friend. Personality. Is she a good dancer? Good dancer? It's like walking on air when you step out with her. Well, so long, heartbreaker. Hope you don't have to walk home. You're a lifesaver, Francis. We just have time to go to the flying field and see your brother land. Oh, but I promised Mac I'd wait Who, for McGowan? Him. He won't be out for an hour. He's having foot trouble. Foot trouble? Yeah. There's the plane now. Congratulations, Sergeant. Your gyro compass will certainly revolutionize flying. Thank you, sir. I'm going to Colonel Bennett and tell him that with your invention, nothing can stop us from landing on Halfway Island. Hello, Seth. How's Thomas A. Edison, Jr.? Great. And so is the invention. Captain Grayson is going to recommend me for that flight to Halfway Island. You mean to tell me that that contraption actually flies the plane? Not exactly, but it keeps the plane from veering off its course. Oh, I hate to have you starting off on another trip so soon. <laughs> Remember, sis, I'm in the Marines. Don't cry, Francis. I'll be your big brother while he's away. Well, I'll big brother you if you don't tell me where you hid my shoe. Your shoe? You mean you can't find it? Don't act innocent or I'll... Sergeant McGowan, you're familiar with dress regulations? Yes, sir, but... No buts. Go back to your quarters and finish dressing. <laughs> I have to check in at the hangar. See you later. Now, that's a pal for you. Accusing me of stealing his shoe. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Well, all's fair in love and war. It steered a true course, in spite of all our efforts to throw it off. Gentlemen, this invention of Sergeant Schiller's seems to be the solution of our problem. How does it strike you, Douglas? Well, I'm sorry, Colonel, but I still wish you'd give up this hopeless attempt to establish a landing field on Halfway Island. I don't think that instrument can combat the magnetic dead spot that has caused the destruction of every ship and plane that's tried to reach the island. Of course, your feelings are naturally influenced by the fact that you were forced to give up a similar project. And you'll give it up, too, after you've sacrificed the lives of the men you're sending on this flight? I appreciate your sincerity, Douglas. But unfortunately, every step in the progress of civilization is fraught with danger and difficulty. The government needs a landing field in Halfway Island. We're determined to go through this project at any cost. Expect a radio report hour by hour on the progress of your trip. Yes, sir. Well, good luck, men. And a happy landing. Thank you, sir. Thank you. There they are. I'd like to say goodbye to my sister, sir. All right, Sergeant. I'll meet you at the plane. Goodbye, sir. 
I hate to leave you with these two leathernecks. Don't worry, Bill. She'll be in good hands. Thanks, Mac. That's the first nice thing you've ever said about me. All right, men, let's go. Well, goodbye. Don't let these two mugs kill each other. So long. Don't forget to bring back a souvenir. set that plane down on Halfway Island? Those men will. I hope so. Just to show Douglas the Marines always finish what they start. Strange that he should be so opposed to our building a landing field on that island. You don't think that he... That's easy to understand. Douglas has been trying to build a floating airport near that island for some time. When we complete our project, his undertaking will be useless. He stands to lose a fortune. Messages, Miss Martin? No, Mr. Douglas. Well, I've got some important work to do. I don't want to be disturbed. Very well, sir. Yes. Yes. I'll call you back later. This is the Tiger Shark. Marine plane DX-19 has just taken off. Contact the men on the island right away. Yes, sir. In that last haul, we've got over $300,000 worth of loot stored up in this cave. Hmm. As far as I'm concerned, I'll take my share right now and give this island back to the natives. You'll take your share when the tiger shark gets ready to give it to you and not before. Tiger shark. Tiger shark. Every day we risk our lives for him. We don't even know who he is. Cece, who is he? You'd better be careful what you say. Better men than you have tried to find out who the tiger shark really is and you know what happened to them. Shark. Halfway Island, M3O receiving. M7O transmitting. Orders from the Tiger Shark. Marine plane on way to Halfway Island. Follow through. Advise the Tiger Shark that everything will be in readiness to receive them. M7O signing off. Men, here's one we can't afford to miss. And it isn't loot this time. It's our necks. I'll say it's our necks. If we ever get those Marines after us. Oh, there's nothing to worry about. We'll crack them up as fast as they send them over. DX-19 sending. We are now within 400 miles of Halfway Island. We're flying at an altitude of 6,000 feet. Hello, boy, Schiller. Stay with it. We're pulling for you, Leatherneck. Our epic speed is 200 miles an hour. Gyro compass working perfectly. They're certainly making a remarkable time. Yes, but they haven't hit the dead spot area yet. The speed they're making, they'll be heading into it soon. 
Pedro, you stand by the sound detector and call us the moment you pick up that motor. Say, si, senor. Location Douglas isn't in. Well, I'm Miss Schiller. Mr. Douglas wanted to see me about something. Oh, yes, but he was called out suddenly. He should be back any moment. Won't you please wait? Well... You better stay. Must be something important. You're sure you won't mind? Of course not. I have to get back to barracks right away. I'll see you later. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, and thanks a lot. Won't you sit down? Thank you. office, please. Uh, Colonel Bennett is not here. When Colonel Bennett returns, please tell him that Miss Schiller is bringing her brother's gyro compass to headquarters. I'll tell him. 
Colonel, I can't understand your attitude in this matter. Sir, Miss Schiller just telephoned. She'd find her brother's compass coming through the barracks with it right away. Miss Schiller's brother? You sure? Where'd she telephone from? Uh, she no say, sir. Did you hear that, Douglas? Sergeant Schiller's compass. Yes, it sounds incredible. If this is true, it may clear up the entire mystery. I wish you'd let me know if it's so. Well, I... I think I'd better go back to my office. from the Tiger Shark. Frances Schiller is on her way to the Marine base with that gyro compass. And it's up to you to stop her before she reaches Colonel Bennett. Okay. Hey, Mac. I thought these old crates were condemned. Yeah. They're using them for anti-aircraft target practice. Yeah? Where's the radio control crew? They're on the range, near the gun crew. Hey, when will I make a contact, will you? Sure. Contact complete, sir. Start the plane. Aye, aye sir. we've made in a row. Where do you get that waste stuff? All you do is hook up a couple of little wires. Say, why did Douglas send for Francis? I don't know yet, sharpshooter. But when I talk to the lady, we may give you the details. Say, what do you mean, we? you for that package, miss. Contact complete, sir. Start the plane. Aye, sir. Deflection 3-5. Range 2-400. Deflection 3-5. Commence firing. Commence firing.
Hey, Mac, hold him. Contact complete, sir. Start the plane. Aye, right, sir. Stand by. Sam, I. Prepare to load. Prepare to load. What happened? Well, we're up in the target plane. Range, 2-400. Deflection, 3-5. Range, 2-400. Deflection, 3-5. Come on. We're quick. We'll break the radio control. Commence firing. Commence firing. Too bad. Would have been a direct hit. What happened? No contact, sir. Something broke our radio control. Hey, you big stiff, let's go. Pipe down, soldier. I'm rescuing you. Yeah, well, when you pull that arm off, don't forget to give us back to me. I can get up. Wait a minute. Are you sure you aren't hurt? Positive. But it isn't my fault. But why were you chasing that fellow that slugged me? He was getting away with Schiller's gyro compass. Sergeant Schiller's gyro compass? Why, you're crazy. That compass was on the plane when it was lost at sea. All I know is that Francis was taking it to the Colonel and this guy grabbed it. Well, this might help us find out what really happened to Schiller. Let's go over to Colonel Bennett's office and talk to Francis. Come on. Larry! Larry! Did he get away with the gyro compass? Yes, but how'd you happen to have it in the first place? me off the road. Well, let's take a look at it. So far, so good. You stay here, Francis, while Mac and I do a little reconnoitering. Don't you think I'd better phone Colonel Bennett? Not until we find out what the setup is. Call the reserves, and we're not back in 15 minutes. Good work, Miller. Did you have any trouble? I'll say I did. It's a good thing the Marines didn't get hold of this. It would start another search for Schiller's plane. Yeah, and the next thing you know, there'd be wise to our setup on Halfway Island. That must be M70. M90 speaking. Tiger Shark just called and wants Pete to start right back for the island. You got to pick up a load of loot on the island. What do you think I am, an Iron Man? That's halfway across the ocean and I just landed a load last night. Tiger Shark orders. Say, who is this Tiger Shark? Ordering us around like a bunch of slaves. We don't even know there is such a person. Lucky found out. 
He even found out who he was, but he never lived to tell us, did he? Don't be a sap. You're getting your cut of the loot, aren't you, Pete? All right. Give me that guy who'll come. I'll take it up on the roof and install it in the plane. It might come in handy. Come on, Mac. We've got to get that guy with that gyro compass before he takes off in the plane. That'll hold him. Turn around. Yeah. And you know what happened to your other planes that tried to land on that island? You forget one thing. They're expecting you in that plane, not us. Yeah, that's a swell idea. They'd never try to wreck their own plane. See if you can work the catapult machine while I take care of this part. Crossword puzzle? A little note for Colonel Bennett telling him we're following through on a hot tip that may lead us to Schiller. that works this catapult. Good. I'm going to try it.
I can't understand why you suspect me of trying to prevent the establishment of a landing field on Halfway Island. That's not so difficult to understand. You have a fortune invest in the floating airport near the island. What if I have? Isn't it true that your airport will be worthless once we complete our landing field in the island? More theory. That's all you have to base your accusations on. First, you accuse me of having Schiller's compass in my possession. And then you hint that I'm responsible for the planes that have been lost through your foolhardy project. Where is this gyro compass? Excuse, sir, but Miss Schiller is outside to see you. Sure, then, please. Miss Schiller, what is it? I was asked to give you this note. Thank you. Won't you sit down? Well, this may be a solution of the entire problem. Oh, excuse me, a matter of office routine. Uh, that's quite all right. And now, if we have nothing further to discuss, I'll bid you good day. Yes, Tiger Shark. I know. M40 just called and said those two Marines were on their way in our plane. I was just about to contact the island when you called. Yes, sir. Right away. Receiving. Two Marines on way to Ireland in our plane. That's all. We'll be ready when they get here. You do. You come with me. All right, unload this truck and bring up those cases of dynamite. When you're through, get Ivan and meet us in the control room. Want us to get that loot out of sight? That won't be necessary. Just a couple of Marines trying to find out what happened to Sergeant Schiller. <laughs> Even if they do run across him, he'll never be able to live to tell about it. See, <laughs> see. I'll say he won't. Wait! That cat decided the plane! What?
Now, down the ladder. Funny how the plane started to act up when we got close to the island. Yeah, this must be the magnetic dead spot Douglas keeps talking about. I wonder. Hey, Mac, look. Well, this proves there are people on this island. You both think you can buck the Marines and get away with it? You're crazy. Well, this proves there are people on this island. You both think you can buck the Marines and get away with it? You're crazy. about 
about those two Marines? What are we going to do with this one? Let's break the sad news to him. Well, to the neck, you didn't save your Marine friends after all. That explosion down there blew him to pieces. Nothing can stop the Marines from building a landing field on this island. And sooner or later, you pirates will pay with your necks. That's what you think. Hi, Ben. Call the natives. Gibson, Pedro, lag him up. Yes, sir. I'm contacting the mainland, Sergeant. The Tiger Shack will be glad to know that your Marines have been taken care of. Halfway Island, M30 transmitting. M70 receiving. Advise the Tiger Shark that the two Marines have been disposed of. Also that we found Sergeant Schiller and are turning him over to the natives. Good. I'll notify the Tiger Shark at once. Douglas Transportation Company. I'm sorry Mr. Douglas isn't in. No. You can reach him at Colonel Bennett's office, the Marine base. I tell you, Douglas, nothing can prevent the government from establishing a landing field on Halfway Island. It strikes me that you're uselessly sacrificing the lives of your men. Are you sure that's your only reason for trying to discourage us, Douglas? What do you mean to insinuate? We know that you have spread a fortune trying to promote a floating airport on Halfway Island and that our proposition will ruin your plans. Colonel Bennett, for you, Douglas. Oh, thank you. Mr. Douglas speaking. What's that? Okay. I'll contact you later. When you get more definite proof of what you're saying, Colonel, we'll continue our talk. I have every confidence that Sergeant McGowan and Corporal Lawrence will bring back that proof from Halfway Island. I hope you're right. Come in. Excuse, please. Miss Schiller to see you, sir. Show her in, Cota. Well, I think I'll run along, Colonel. How do you do? Well, Miss Schiller? Oh, Colonel, I've been so anxious about my brother. Any news from the boys? No, not yet. But you mustn't be discouraged. They scarcely have time to accomplish anything. Yes, I know. Something tells me that Mr. Douglas knows more than he'd have us believe. Well, I feel the same way, but we must be patient till McGowan and Lawrence return. they're up to. Schiller, wait a minute. Use your head. Stay here. I've got an idea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
that tree. ahead start knocking on the rear guard. Hey, these would make swell souvenirs for Francis. Yeah, maybe she'd rather have a saver brother. Come on. Hey, wait a minute. What are you going to do with those? You never can tell. We haven't any guns, have we?
hut. Yeah. Hey, listen. When I get up on that limb, hand me a couple of those spears. Okay, up you go.
up, Mac. I think we're in the fire. We can make it back to the plane before the natives get wise. Those Marines won't give us any more trouble now. That ought to teach them to give up the idea of building a landing field on this island. Yes. This will put us in good with the tiger shark. I'd better report on it right away. Sounds like one of our airplanes. The Marines are getting way in it. I can't understand how they got out of those flames alive. We can still stop them. behind those clouds. Sending. Marines heading back to mainland in plane with Schiller. Complete information concerning halfway island in Schiller's possession. M3O signing off. Hello, Captain. Hello, Captain. Mr. Douglas? I believe these so-called accidents are part of an organized attempt to keep us off that island. I resent these veiled accusations that I'm in any way responsible for the attacks against the marine plane. So you must admit that your floating air part will be a total loss when we complete our landing field in Halfway Island. Really, Colonel, you should have more definite evidence before you point an accusing finger at anyone. I'm sure Sergeant Schiller will supply that definite evidence as soon as he regains consciousness. I certainly hope so, and it means clearing up this deplorable situation once and for all. By the way, how is Sergeant Schiller? As well as can be expected. I'm on my way to the hospital now.
Is he all right? Well, he's still unconscious, but the doctor says he's passed the crisis. How can I ever thank you? If it weren't for you, my brother would have died on that island. Thank McGowan. He's the one that really did it. What do you mean, I did it? The first thing you know, you'll be saying I saved him at McGowan. Saved him at McGowan? Well, I didn't know my brother was in Nothing but a little skirmish. Now, we didn't think it was a little skirmish when those bandits ambushed us back in that jungle. Maybe that's where they're holding Schiller a prisoner. Your friends! Ha! They are walking right into our trap. For the last time, are you going to tell us the secret of your gyro compass or not? You're wasting your time, Captain. Go back and tell your mysterious leader, whoever he is, that this invention belongs to the Marine. Go back and tell the Capitan, there are only a few Americans. We can take care of them. Captain, they are only a handful of soldiers. Ah, that will make it more simple. We will have no difficulty in capturing them. <laughs> They're fighting the Marines, mister. And before it's over, your bandits will know they've been in a battle. We can hold them off from here as long as the ammunition lasts. We have to make every shot count. Swamp grass growing in the ripples? No. You got him. I got an idea. So am I. We should have joined the Navy. Give me a couple of those hand grenades. What are you going to do? I'm going to find their ammunition supply and toss in a pineapple. You'll never make it. We're outnumbered 100 to 1. I'm taking that chance. We've got to save Schiller. Okay. We'll keep him busy, and when we hear the explosion, we'll start moving in. Happy landing. Don't take any wooden nickels,
Take it easy, old man. I'll have you out of here in a jiffy. We would have still been down there trying to rescue your brother. You know, I wouldn't be surprised to find that the Tiger Shark is behind both these attempts to get Bill. What gets me is that nobody knows who the Tiger Shark is, not even his own men. Sergeant McGowan? Yeah? Colonel Bennett wishes you and Corporal Lawrence to report to his office at once. Right. Be sure and call us the minute Bill's conscious. Goodbye. Sergeant McGowan reporting, sir, as ordered. Reporting? Why, I don't understand. The intern at the hospital said you phoned for us to report to you at your office. Now, there must be some mistake. It's a trick, Colonel, to get us away from Sergeant Schiller. Well, you get back to Schiller. I'll check with the Surgeon General. Mark of the tiger shark. He's dead. Wait here, honey. Come on. Let's get out of here.
ain't that just too bad? Yeah. Lucky for us that it had us, sure. Ought to be a bonus for us when the tiger shark hears about this. you were a goner. Which way did they go? That doesn't make any difference. We can't catch them now. We've got to get back to headquarters and make out a report. And thanks, Mac, for missing me. But you took an awful chance heading into that bank. Oh, well, forget it. You all right? Pete and Red. Did you get him? This is one job the tiger shark can't squawk about. Yes? Good work. I'll tell the tiger shark as soon as I hear from him. No, I don't know where he is. Well, he might be at the marine base. He said he'd get in touch with me later. I thought in view of these repeated accidents, you might consider giving up the idea of building a landing field on Halfway Island. You can and the marines never give up. Well, in case you change your mind, my company would like to tackle that job. Sergeant McGowan and Corporal Lawrence to see you, sir. Show them in, Coda. Yes, Sergeant. Oh, that's all right. There's Mr. Buchanan of the Oriental Navigation Company. Sorry to report, sir. The men got away. Oh, that's too bad. They might have put us in the trail of the tiger shark himself. Sergeant Schiller, sir. How is he? He died before we could help him. Strangled. Excuse me. Colonel Bennett speaking. Hello, Colonel. This is Francis Schiller. I looked through my brother's possessions, as you asked me, and I found some notes which might be what you want. Oh, splendid. No, no, you better wait there. I'll send for them immediately. Miss Schiller's found some papers among her brother's effects that might clear up the mystery of Halfway Island. Sergeant, you know where Miss Schiller lives? Yes, sir. Oh, just a moment. I'm going that way, Colonel. I'll be glad to drop your men there. Thank you, Mr. Buchanan. You're very kind. Well, goodbye, Colonel. Don't forget to call on me if there's anything I can do to help you. Thank you. Would you mind waiting my car? I'll join you in just a moment. M70 speaking. The men are at the warehouse now, waiting your orders. I'll send them out at once. Yes, Tiger Shark. Those two Marines are headed for Francis Schiller's apartment to pick up some papers the boss wants. The Marines? Why, I thought, never mind what you thought. You and Pete shoot over to that apartment. While the rest of us take care of the Marines. You better stick here in case Tiger Shark calls. We could have missed them. Not a chance. They were just leaving when we got the call. 
here they come now. We'll have to get a tow car to get her out. I think I can get it out. Do you mind if I try? I know, not at all. Give me some beef, Max. have got the car out of the ditch. Well, they've got to make that curve ahead to get to town. Yeah. Good work, boys. You can do anything with a car like this. I'd like to drive it on into town if it's okay with you. By all means, I'm, I'm still pretty shaky. Climb in. that forced us into the ditch. This must be some trick to keep us from getting those papers. But well, what do we do? We can still fool them. Hold on. time enough to get to the girls' house. They might have some trouble finding the papers. We better play safe and follow those Marines. Slip back of this wheel. We may have to make a quick getaway. Come for those papers, Miss Schiller. Well, it seems strange that Colonel Bennett wouldn't send a Marine. Do you mind if I phone him to verify it? Why, certainly not. I don't blame you for playing safe.
Sache.
Where are those papers you took from Miss Schiller? Oh, he wasn't the one that took it. It was one of the other men. Well, he can tell us where the tiger shark is. Larry. I don't know who he is, where he is. Nobody knows. No use, Mac. We'll take him down to headquarters and let the colonel talk to him. Do you mind if we use your car? Oh, of course not. Thanks, Francis. And I have a feeling that this fellow's going to put us on the trail of the murder of your brother. Hey, where's Red? Better wait for him. Ah, let's get out of here. Why take chances? to the Marine base. It'll be our next if they make him talk. Well, we can stop them before they get to the base. Now, you duck down to the warehouse for those papers and report to the Tiger Shark. Crawley and I'll take care of those Marines. The tiger shark will be here this evening. The tiger shark? Coming here? He may take the plane to Halfway Island to check up on the loop. I am convinced of one thing, Buchanan. The so-called attacks on our planes are part of a mysterious campaign to keep us from completing that landing field in Halfway Island. That may all be true, but why call me out here to tell me this? Because you seem so anxious to have us give up the project, I thought you might be able to throw some light on the subject. Are you insinuating that I might be responsible for the attacks on your planes? Hardly. But I want to make one point clear. Nothing is going to prevent the Marines from completing that landing field on Halfway Island. Colonel Bennett speaking. Corporal Lawrence reporting, sir. I've trailed the Tiger Sharks men to their hideout. Well, Sergeant McGowan. I'll find out if he's here. Yes, I have the address. Good work. Report back if you need more men. You'll find you're barking up the wrong tree, Colonel, when you get at the bottom of this. I hope so. But remember what I said about the Marines always finishing what they start.
Sergeant McGowan. Lawrence phoned from a garage at 7th and Hickory. I want you to join him there. You know that man, Buchanan? The president of the Oriental Navigation Company? That's right. I've reason to believe he may be the Tiger Shark. Any chance of proving it, sir? Corporal Lawrence said the Tiger Shark was planning to meet his men at the warehouse sometime this evening. Are you planning a raid, sir? No. Lawrence feels it may leak out and cause him to change his plans. But I should like to have you keep your eye on Buchanan for the next few hours, without arousing any suspicion. Have my flying togs arrived? Yes, Mr. Buchanan. They're in the lower drawer of your desk. Oh, uh, I won't need you anymore today. You can finish that work the first thing tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Buchanan. Yes, Tiger Shark. I'll tell them at once. Right. Yeah? Good. We'll have a surprise for them. Okay, yes, they're all here now. The Marines are going to put in on our meeting with a Tiger Shark. Well, let's tell him. He already knows it, and he said he'll be here just the same. What's the idea? It's those two Marines that are always butting into our business. Now, they don't know that we're expecting them, and it should make it easier for us. Say, that tiger shark is plenty smart. Well, it wouldn't surprise me a bit if he turned out to be... You know what happens to everybody that tries to find out who he is? Matt, in here. I was beginning to think you were in a jam or something. I had to stay under cover until just now. I didn't want to tip them off. The tiger shark will be here any minute. Well, one thing's sure. Buchanan isn't the tiger shark. What makes you say that? I trailed him to his office and heard him say he was leaving by plane. There's a plane now. It's an auto gyro and it's headed straight for the warehouse. Maybe he's Buchanan after all, using an auto gyro to throw us off his trail. Let's get upstairs.
Chances are they waited for the tiger shark to land before closing in. Won't be long now. Those guns and don't move. Kind of surprised to see me, eh? All right, get in that room. Now get this, the first one that squawks, I'm going to let him have it. Get rid of Crawley.
Now get this. The first one that squawks, I'm going to let him have it. I get my hands on him again. Let's have a look around here, Max. We might find something that'll give us a clue to the tiger shark. Hey, Mac, look here. What did you find? That's a map of Halfway Island. Well, that proves that the tiger shark's responsible for cracking up the marine planes that tried to land on that island. That, uh, that spot marked X must be some hideout for the gang, a cave or something. Colonel Bennett, I have a hunch that this magnetic dead spot is a man-made force. Just what do you mean? Well, I mean a ray gun, controlled by radio. It could reach a plane a half a mile away. Mr. Buchanan of the Oriental Navigation Company to see you, sir. Have him come in. I thought he might be able to throw some light on this map. I think he can throw light on a lot of things if he wanted to. Good morning, Buchanan. Morning. You know these men? Yes. Sit down. As president of the Oriental Navigation Company, you're familiar with most of the islands of the Pacific. You recognize this one? No, I don't. It's the Tiger Shark's map of Halfway Island. Rather crudely drawn. For some time we've known that the Tiger Shark's men have been landing planes there, on that island. Why, absurd. How could they penetrate the dead spot which completely encircles it? Well, some time ago, I sent Sergeant McGowan and Corporal Lawrence to a certain warehouse. Good thing the Marines didn't get hold of this. It would start at another search for Schiller's plane. Yeah, and the next thing you know, it'd be wise to our setup on Halfway Island. That must be M-7-0. M-9-0 speaking. Tiger Shark just called and wants Pete to start right back for the island. You've got to pick up a load of loot on the island. What do you think I am, an Iron Man? That's halfway across the ocean, and I just landed a load last night. Tiger Shark's orders. Say, who is this Tiger Shark? Ordering us around like a bunch of slaves. We don't even know there is such a person. Lucky found out. He even found out who he was, but he never lived to tell us, did he? Don't be a sap. You're getting your cut of the loot, aren't you, Pete? All right. Give me that gyro compass. I'll take it up on the roof and install it in the plane. It might come in handy.
tie him up and lock him in that closet. We gotta get that guy with that gyro compass before he takes off in the plane. That'll hold him. You don't have to. With that plane of yours, we're going to find out for ourselves. Turn around. Yeah? You know what happened to your other planes that tried to land on that island? You forget one thing. They're expecting you in that plane, not us. Yeah, that's a swell idea. They'd never try to wreck their own plane. See if you can work the catapult machine while I take care of this car. penetrating the so-called dead spot. That is strange. How do you account for it? Bill, they recognized one of their own planes, didn't try to bring it down. An interesting theory, but with little to back it up. Did those men find anything on the island to indicate the presence of white men there? Regardless of whether they did or did not, we intend to go right through with our landing field project until it's completed. Well, all I can say is that it is a needless sacrifice of men and planes. Good day, gentlemen. He must have some reason for trying to prevent the Marines from completing the landing field on that island. We may be able to get that proof through his men on Halfway Island. You mean that Buchanan... Prepare for immediate departure. Fly under sealed orders. Destination unknown. Yes, sir. Yes, Tiger Shark. They have the map. Yes, Tiger Shark, I'll contact the island. more halls like this and we'll be on easy street. Yeah, but Tiger Shark doesn't disappear with everything. You'd better be careful what you say about the Tiger Shark. It's no fun risking our necks for someone we've never seen face to face. <laughs> Halfway Island, M3O receiving. M70 transmitting orders from the Tiger Shark. Marine plane on way to Halfway Island. Traveling under secret orders. Be prepared for any emergency. So, we're going to have another visit from the Marines. 
They're gluttons for punishment. The more the merrier. Get to the control room, Pedro. Notify us just as soon as you pick up their plane on the sound detector. Si, senor. Where we open my secret order. The stratosphere helmets in the next compartment. Bring them out. Yes, sir. Start climbing. We're going to power dive onto the outlet from the stratosphere.
matter, sir. Drive straight to the center of the island and give it a gun. They're in a power dive. Contact! Contact! Vertical quadrant! Vertical quadrant! They got through. Shut off that power. Ivan, get to the village as fast as you can. And have the natives finish off the Marines. Okay. Carson, Pedro, you guard the entrance to the cave. According to this map, the cave must be on the top of that peak. Yes, sir. That's right. Brown and Olsen, you remain here and prepare the camp. Sergeant McGowan, you and Corporal Lawrence proceed through the jungle, circling toward the hill on the right. And Kennedy and I will circle to the left. We'll meet on the opposite side of the hill, where the cave is our objective. Yes, sir. Well, I have again the coolie. Oh, but they are down! They I hope we don't run into any snakes or tigers. Hey, if a tiger got a good look at that pan of yours, he'd drop dead. Oh, well, the natives are on that trail. It won't be long now. They're on the warpath. They must have spotted Lawrence and McGowan. Save us that time, Captain. If you're scattered fast, didn't yes, you? sir. Are you hurt bad, sir? It's nothing serious. We'd better help you back to camp, sir. No, nope. Kennedy will do that. You two men carry on. Don't you think we'd better see you safely back, sir? I don't think the natives will try to attack again. Yes, sir. I want to report to Colonel Bennett at the base. Aye, aye, sir. Halfway Island calling Marine Base, San Diego. Halfway Island calling San Diego. Captain Hennison receiving. 
Captain Holmes, desire to report to Colonel Bennett directly, sir. I'll get him at once. Stand by. What is it, Carter? Colonel Bennett's chart case, sir. All right, put it there. Sir, Captain Holmes is standing by at Halfway Island to report to the Colonel. John Drake? Yes, sir. take command. Colonel Bennett calling Halfway Island. Sir, Captain Holmes reporting. We had a brief encounter with the natives. Our detachment suffered no serious casualties. We are carrying on in our effort to locate the Tiger Shark's cave. We will report at the regular hours unless something of importance occurs. Captain Holmes, commanding, Halfway Island Detachment, signing off. What do you mean by spying on me? Uh, sorry, Douglas, your secretary was out. Wasn't that the marine broadcast to which you were listening? Yes. What about it? I was wondering whether you could throw some light on the mysterious attacks against the marine planes. Are you accusing me of trying to prevent the marines from building a landing field on that island? Well, isn't it true that you stand to lose considerable in case the project is completed? Look here, Buchanan. Before you start throwing suspicion on me, you have a lot of explaining to do yourself. Get out! All right. Not a bad idea. Wheeler speaking. Yes, Tiger Shark, I'm sorry. I Yes, I'll transmit your orders for the island at once. Take along plenty of shells. Hold everything. M7O transmitting. Orders from the Tiger Shark. The Marines on the island must be disposed of at once. Tell the Tiger Shark not to worry. The Marines will never leave this island alive. <whistles> Where's Pedro? He's gone to get Ivan. They'll meet us on the ridge. Good. Wait a minute. A white man. Wait! The tiger shark's got more than one man on this island. He may lead us to the others. Right. Come on. Ivan! There's another one. The Marines, they chase the natives away. Yeah, they come running back to the village like a bunch of skid rabbits. But those Marines won't escape us this time. The men are waiting for us. Too bad we couldn't hear what they said. Should we follow them? We'd better play safe. We'll take them back to camp. Stay where you are. Drop those guns. Drop them. We'd better take them to our camp before the rest of the gang shows up. We'll be able to make them tell us where their hiding place is. Get going.
We're almost out of the jungle. That's a relief. Well, they ought to be here any minute. The Marines have got them. Wait, wait. You might hit one of our men. We'll ambush them around the side of the hill. None of that, brother. The Marine camp is around the hill. Get going. Get behind that rock. Gibson, get over behind that tree on the left. When I get the signal, open fire. Closing in on us. If we could get a peek at him, we could pick him off. I got an idea. Let him see this head every once in a while and fire two shots at a time. What's the idea? That'll keep their attention here. I'm going to climb up to the high fork in that tree and pop them off from above. It's a nutty idea, but hop to it, squirrel. All you have to do is make them think I'm still here. Yeah, Red Cat just got one of those Marines. Yeah, we'll get the other ones he shows above that rock.
Good work, Pedro. What do we do with these fellow now? Let's take him back to the cave. We could use him in case the rest of those Marines start something. How about the other one? Well, I'll take a look at him. And he was such a swell guy, too. It'll be our finish when the Marines find out about this. What's the matter? You're going soft? Oh. Let's take a look through the periscope and see what those Marines are doing. Sure don't act like they're excited about anything. Ivan's just jumpy. They couldn't have heard those shots. They're too far away. It's going to be too hot for comfort on this island once those Marines get into action. I'm clearing out. You mean uh, you're quitting? Right. And I'm taking my share of the loot while I'm still alive. Tiger Shark might have something to say about this. You guys are a bunch of saps risking your necks for someone you've never seen. See. But I have seen what has happened to these fellows who tried to walk out on him. Well, he'll have to catch me first. Maybe we'd better tell Senor Metcalf about these fools before he gets us all into trouble. Hey, fellow, get back here. Where do you think you're going? I was only trying to find a soft spot. Maybe he thinks you ought to get him a couple of pillows. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe we better stay and watch these, Molo. <laughs> <laughs> I'd better contact the tiger shark before the Marines miss those two men. That's funny. Where'd they all go to? Came from the treasure room. Tiger shark. The 
betreiben. He's still alive. Look, the mark of the tiger shark. Well, where'd he disappear to? There must be some secret way out of this place. Let's find it. Ivan has paid the penalty for defying a tiger shark. His body is in the treasure room where I have just trapped the two Marines. I have come to make sure the Marines are wiped off this island. Prepare to attack the camp at once. We'll attend to the prisoners on your return. You heard it. Get busy. Can't be far ahead. We can still beat them to the camp. Let's cut across that ravine. We can make better time. What do you think I am, a mountain goat? It's our only chance. Are you hurt? Just my feelings. How much further do we have to go? About another half mile and we'll be able to see the camp from that ridge. What are you gonna do now? Fly? Keep your shirt on. What are you waiting for? Uh, 
that up, boy, Mac. We must be ahead of them by now. Sir, the Tiger Sharks men are on their way to attack. They'll be here any minute. Quick, men, load up! Never hold, Brownie. Up the ship, sir. Give me a 44-foot trail. Come on. Hey, go on, Brownie, let's go. Out. Come on, come on. Come on. Let's get going. Hurry. Remember now, they'll creep up and take them by surprise. They'll never know what struck them till it's all over.
how they got away from the tiger shark. Dead, sir. Cover him up. The tiger shark's men. They haven't seen us yet. Get back in the tent. Looks like they're all finished off. We better make sure. We'll take them alive if possible. Stay where you are. Stop those guns. Take them out, men. Time up. Too bad we couldn't have taken him alive, sir. He was their leader and might have given us some valuable information about the tiger shark. It was unavoidable. Are all the men accounted for, Sergeant? Yes, sir. With the two prisoners and the two dead, they're all accounted for. Good. Then our work on the island is finished. We can leave for the mainland at once. Stand by. The tiger shark's on his way back from Halfway Island with a marine plane hot on his trail. Got a chance they'll have catching up with him. He'll be here before the marine plane gets warmed up. I hope so.
afraid the tiger shark had too much of a start on us, sir. As soon as we get this radio working, we'll contact the base and try to hit him off. She'll be ready in a minute, sir. She's working, sir. Good. Get Colonel Bennett at the base right away. Marine base, Colonel Bennett receiving. Captain Holmes calling from Marine plane en route. Tiger Shark heading for mainland in plane. We are unable to overtake him. I'll check all landings at once. Report to me on arrival. Call out squadrons 195 and 196. Have them patrol coastline for incoming planes. Yes, sir. Have units 10 and 12 stand by for emergency call. Yes, Take a look at that. At last we found out who we're working for. Can you imagine that? You can in the tiger shark. Yeah? Yeah, we were just reading the headlines. Okay, they're all here now. Yeah, we'll start right out. On your toes, boys. We're headed to the marine base. I'll arrive, Buchanan, but you still have to explain how you happen to be near that plane. If you must know, Colonel Bennett, I have just returned from an investigation. Investigation? You have repeatedly accused me of interfering with the proposed landing field on Halfway Island. We had reasons for our suspicions. Your suspicions have forced me to carry on a private investigation of my own. I am now in a position not only to prove my own innocence, but possibly also to throw some light on the identity of this miscriminal known as the Tiger Shark. How do you propose to do this? If you will allow me to return to my office, I shall return with full proofs within the hour. You won't object to a couple of my men going along with you? Certainly not. Well, come to Mr. Buchanan to his office. Render whatever aid he may require. Aye, aye, sir. It uh, looks as though we're getting somewhere. I'm not so sure. Buchanan's a pretty slick customer. What are we waiting for? Not here, you sap. Do you want the whole Marine base on us? Now take it easy. We'll follow them at a distance and stop them before they get to town. Slip into the side entrance. Come right in, man. Well, my secretary must have locked it. Don't seem to have the key. Oh, oh, sir. I don't think you'll need that. Neither will you, soldier. Get him up.
All right, Tiger Shark. Our car is downstairs. We'll be down as soon as we take care of these two Marines. Two of them. Pretty clever, Buchanan. Tie them up, Pete. With what? With their belts, schoolboy. Larry, the tiger shark's heading away. How about Pete and Red? Never mind them, step on it.
back. Well, we thought, aren't you the tiger shark? You'll find out soon enough. Get going. Imagine us thinking he was the tiger shark all the time. Now, what was the idea of him going along with us? I guess he thought we'd lead him to the hideout. Getting away. Getting away? Who? Tiger Shark's men. Come on. Mm -hmm. No, you don't, Tiger Shark. You're mistaken, Lawrence. I'm not the Tiger Shark. Then why were you running away with those men? I thought it was an excellent chance to discover their hideout and perhaps learn the identity of the tiger shark. So that's your story, huh? If I were the tiger shark, would those men leave me here like this? You may be telling the truth, Buchanan, but you've got some tall explaining to do when you get to the colonel's office. Come on. You're probably wondering why I called you here, Mr. Douglas. Naturally. Mr. Buchanan claims that the disclosure he's about to make will involve you. Nothing he may say can involve me. Stop acting for the benefit of the colonel. You haven't forgotten that afternoon you were standing by the radio in your office. Captain Holmes reporting. We had a brief encounter with the natives. Our detachment suffered no serious casualties. We are carrying on in our effort to locate the Tiger Shark's cave. We will report at the regular hours unless something of importance occurs. 
Captain Holmes, commanding, halfway island detachment, signing off. What do you mean by spying on me? Uh, sorry, Douglas, your secretary was out. Wasn't that the marine broadcast to which you were listening? Yes. What about it? I was wondering whether you could throw some light on the mysterious attacks against the marine planes. Are you accusing me of trying to prevent the marines from building a landing field on that island? Well, isn't it true that you stand to lose considerable in case the project is completed? Look here, Buchanan. Before you start throwing suspicion on me, you have a lot of explaining to do yourself. Get out! All right. Not a bad idea. Douglas telephoned and made an appointment to go to a certain warehouse that night. That's a lie. As a matter of fact, Colonel, I telephoned the airport to get my plane ready for a flight. Just where did you go on that flight? Why, I... I had some private business up the coast. What are you getting at, Corporal? Colonel Bennett, do you recall the time you sent Sergeant McGowan and myself to the warehouse? The night the Tiger Shark was to meet his men there? Clearly. Well, while I was waiting in their secret garage for McGowan. Matt, come here. I was beginning to think you were in a jam or something. I have to stay under cover now, just now. I didn't want to piss them off. The tiger shark will be here any minute. Well, one thing's sure. Buchanan isn't a tiger shark. What makes you say that? I trailed him to his office and heard him say he was leaving by plane. There's a plane now. It's an auto gyro and it's headed straight for the warehouse. That may be Buchanan after all, using an auto gyro to throw us off his trail. Let's get upstairs. They waited for the tiger shark to land before closing in. Won't be long now. Here they come now. I drop those guns and don't move. Surprised to see me, eh? All right, get in that room. Now get this. The first one that squawks, I'm going to let him have it.
made a clean getaway, sir, in his auto gyro. A nice story, gentlemen. But I don't see how it involves me. Just a moment. In view of Corporal Lawrence's story, I am now positive of the identity of the tiger shark. Following Douglas' trail, I was at the airport the next morning, waiting his return. The auto gyro landed. The pilot removed his goggles for a moment, and after that, there was no doubt that the tiger shark... Well, the tiger shark's escaping. You mean he tried to escape, but I got a pretty good hold on him right now. I saw him go around the side of the building. He threw the gun in those bushes there. Here it is, Colonel Bennett. But that gun belongs to the Marine Corps. Three, four, four, one, five, six. If I remember correctly, that's the number of my gun. Just a moment, Sergeant. Cota. Is my service revolved in my quarters? Yes, sir. It was there after inspection this morning. Go get it for me right away. Begins to look as though one of our own men were implicated in this. Using the garage entrance to the warehouse. That must be him upstairs. I never noticed that opening before. Mac, look. The wall's closing in.
back, look. The wall's closing in. the Marines out? Good. They've already interfered too much in my plans. You stupid fool! The Marines are still alive! You will take the... Anything goes wrong, notify me promptly at Halfway Island. Nice look, an opening. No, you don't. Open that door. I can't, it's locked from the outside. Tiger Shark went through there, didn't he? How do you open that passageway? I don't know. There he goes. Headed for Halfway Island. Not so fast. So we're going along with you. Thanks for opening the door, Professor. We'll get a plane at the base and fly to Halfway Island. Leave the natives here. You come with me. The Marines have practically wiped out my entire organization. What are we going to do? We've got to get off the island and look for a new hideout. The Marines! I'll make them wish they never followed me to the island. Shall I call the natives? No, we'll bring them down with a radio gravity gun. The natives will take care of them.
Well, landed kind of hard, didn't you, pal? <laughs> I bounced around a little. We'd better take some of that treasure along with us. We'll have to blow the door open. Bring the night of glycerin. And careful how you handle it. Tiger shark must be in the cave. Let's get there before the radio grab us again. And live like kings with all of this. You'd better be getting some of it out to the plane. Grab that bag of gold. Cave's just beyond that rise. Yeah, we'd better take it easy. Come on. Thank you. 
So the Colonel's mess boy turns out to be the tiger shark. enough treasure. Let's get to the plane. Take you back to the mainland and have you tell them who the tiger shark is? the end of the tiger shark. For gallant and courageous service above and beyond the call of duty, it's my pleasure to award each of you in the name of the grateful government, the Navy Cross.